hello and welcome to this new video in today's video we are going to see how uh, to rename a virtual machine with a VMware workstation so I have this VM here called CentOS 7 that I have created with VMware workstation and let's say I want to change its name so if I go to the uh, settings of this uh, virtual machine as you can see here the disk is this one it's called CentOS 7.vmdk so let's say I want to rename everything the display name the virtual disk everything related to this machine so what would I do if I open the VMs uh, folder it would look like this so let me close the VM from here and open the folder again so these are the files of this virtual machine the main file here is obviously the uh, virtual disk that has six and a half gigabytes uh, at this time so the first thing we are going to do is rename this VMDK file so let's call it for example let's call it CentOS 7 VM01 okay and let's use this name for all the uh, the rest of the files just to be consistent okay so we did that let's open the VM again so I would open this VMX file as you can see the display name of this VM is still CentOS 7 okay let's try to start it and it's going to give me an error file not found CentOS 7 dot VMDK so it's giving me this error although I change uh, because I changed the uh, VMDK file name so what's the problem here the problem is that this VMX file is ref is still referencing the old VMDK file. So if I want uh, the VMX file to be able to find the new VMDK file, I would have to open this VMX file and edit it. Okay. So if I open the VMX file and look for anything that has CentOS uh, in it, you can see that we have. Uh, four occurrences the, fir the first one references the MVRAM file but this uh, this file we have already uh, renamed it but we, we still need to change it here so we need to put uh, the new MVRAM file name here CentOS 7 VM01 dot MVRAM the second occurrence of CentOS 7 is this one display name so we don't have to but we can change the display name of this virtual machine the third occurrence and this is a very important one is the uh, VMDK file name so as you can see here it is still refer referencing the old uh, name so let's change that let's make it CentOS 7 VM01 dot VMDK and last the uh, vmxf file not so important file but we already renamed it so we can put the new name here okay so the most important thing to rename here is mvram and vmdk uh, files okay so let's save that and let's go back to the uh, vm let's close this one and open it again and let's see if it works this time so the first thing you notice here is that the uh, display name has changed okay so it means that uh, we are uh, doing things correctly let's try to uh, start the VM now let's see if it starts okay it seems like 
it was able to find the VMDK file, but it is, it is asking me a question. This virtual machine might have been moved or copied in order to configure certain management and networking features. VMware Workstation needs to know if this virtual machine was moved or copied. If you don't answer, if you don't know, answer I copied. Okay, uh, I don't know what's really the difference between I moved and I copied. I usually do I copied. And it seems like things are working fine uh, now. So we can say that we have successfully uh, renamed this virtual machine. So this is it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you in this video, just how to rename a virtual machine properly. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thank you for watching.